Essential Sound and Audio Ducking. Premiere keeps up with the times, and all complex functions, such as Audio Track Mixer, are replaced by simpler ones. Auxiliary panels and settings appear. For example, if we go from the editing workspace layout to the audio workspace layout, we will see a panel called Essential Sound. What is Essential Sound? For example, if the audio tracks are selected, the Essential Sound panel will show the options that apply to the selected tracks. After selecting the dialog action, we see an alternative menu where we can choose the other actions on the clips. We don't need to delve into what the effects are and what they do. We have hints. For example, there is loudness. Maybe we need to align the volume, so we can click on the Auto Match button. Then it will normalize the sound that is based on the average loudness of LUFC, loudness units relative to full scale. It's not based on the peak volume, but on the average volume of the sound on the segment. Next, we have the repair function. We have the ability to reduce the noise on the track. To do this, we need to highlight the clip and enable the Reduce Noise checkbox. The Adaptive Noise Reduction effect immediately appears in Effect Controls. There are different ways to eliminate noise of different types. For example, an electrical noise, 50 to 60 Gz, a sound of lamps, etc. We have many possibilities that we can try and apply to choose the best processing option. We can find effects manually if we know about their existence their names and their function. But if we don't know, then we just need to use the essential sound panel, where one slider can make it easier to adjust the entire effect. If we don't need certain functions, we can disable them by checking the box next to the name of the setting. The next function is clarity. Here we can apply the dynamics effect. As has been seen, our audio ruler is from 0 to minus 96. If we have some low noise, for example at minus 60, we can remove it by adjusting the slider, by changing the curve if we adjust the effect the effect controls. That is, everything that we lower on the curve below, for example minus 45, becomes quieter than before, and everything above minus 45 becomes louder. Thus, we determine how much lower or louder it will become by stretching this curve. And we can take the noise out of earshot and raise the voices. If we consider clarity further, we will see BQ equalizer here. So that we don't get into the settings on effect controls, we can select the desired preset on essential sound. For example, if we are going to clean our voice, it will be enough to select background preset. There are many equalizer settings that can be applied to different situations. Here, under the graph, we have a checkbox that is called Enchant Speech. You can apply it to each clip individually. Let's consider the creative setting. Here we can enable the reverb checkbox and select the desired preset. We can simulate different spaces with this function. Each checkbox that we enable on Essential Sound adds a separate effect to the track fixed on effect controls, except for the loudness parameter. Minutes, uh, one of the boosters were lit. The last available option in Essential Sound is Clip Volume. Here we can edit level and mute. Right now we have only looked at voice effects. We have selected the dialog panel. But if we go to the music panel, there will be a completely different set of tools. Also, there are effects for SFX. The big plus of Essential Sound is that each task has its own set of tools. The following very useful tool should be noted in the set of effects for music. There are also loudness, duration and ducking that I would like to mention. Before that, we manually lowered the points where the situation required it. We lowered the music on the dialogues 
and then returned it to the original volume. The ducking function allows us to select several variations. Duck against dialog clips. Here we reduce the sound with the clips sound play. That is, before that we worked with sounds and selected settings from them for dialog. The program knows that these are dialog clips. Now we can adjust sensitivity, reduce by and fades. Next, we need to click Generate keyframes. As a result, this function will place the points and lower the sound where we need it. If we reduce the size of fades, then it won't go along the borders of the clips, but really will analyze the sound wave. For the first eight and a half to nine minutes, um, while the boosters were lit, and a lot of G-forces, a lot of different sensations our bodies... And the most amazing thing is that we have a pause in the dialog. It will edit music in each pause. It's very cool. So we are finishing the analysis of the essential sound panel.